Hey, what's going on, my twins? Okay, so look, I'm pulling from my deck a moment in truth. Let's see what comes out. Also, if you're triggered by anything, please um, face your mirror. All right, not my comment section. Okay, we don't want none of that negative energy. We trying to evolve over here. All right, now, <laughs> look, <laughs> your divine masculine is focused on their money. It's not about love right now. They try and get their money straight. Um, hmm. Don't forget. <laughs> don't forget. Um, every twin is on a different stage of their journey. So take what you need, leave what you don't need. And please use the spirit of discernment as well. And um, I was laughing because the card that came out, it says your guides are working to bring you two together and let's get married. Okay, so what I'm feeling here is that your divine masculine really wants to get themselves together financially. They may not be confident about where they're at in their life. Okay, I feel like they do want to have some type of long term commitment with you. They may not be saying it because that's not their focus at this moment. And I feel like you could be going through some type of separation or disharmony between each other. Okay, so like the way I've been um, getting the downloads is like the universe is literally separating the twins. Okay, and it's because divine timing has kicked in. We're at the end of a cycle and there's a lot of triggers. Okay, so... um. It's taken us a minute to to really face that mirror and get it for some. And some of us are, you know, on it. But however, this is a period of reflection. Like we have to pause and we have to continue to heal because we're literally, we're literally ascending. Okay. And we're going into the next phase of our journey. We can't take this old stuff in with us. Right. So if you find that you are triggered. That's why divine time it kicked in, all right? And when the, you understand, right, that, hey, when it's like that, it causes the twins to go, boom, two separate ways, okay? Now, let's talk about how, well, I'll pull on everything. Let's talk about let's get married. Woo! The seven of cups in a reverse. First thing that came to mind is they already chose you, and they're clear about it. Even if you don't feel like that's what's happening because of what you're saying in the physical, they've already made the choice, okay? Um, and how I'm saying, hearing it is like intuitively. How are the guys working to bring the twins back together? Wow. I heard through heartbreak. That's a weird way of doing it, right? So you two, mm, it's making you guys stronger. So whatever the grief or the emotional pain is that you are experiencing in this moment, because, you know, it's never easy, of course, is making you guys stronger. So they're asking you to, you know, heal from this, dust yourself off and keep going. This is how you ascend. You deal with the grief, right? Because when we begin to feel betrayed or abandoned or whatever the sorrow may be, it causes us to go within to heal that. It's also character building. But the thing is, it's like you won't go within to heal that or release that pain unless it's something that triggers that pain. And that's what the twin is there for, right? To trigger your ascension through what? They trigger whatever it is that you were holding on to, okay, and not releasing. So, I mean, it makes a lot of sense, all right? I, it, it sounds real effed up. I know Seven of Swords comes out in the reverse. And what, what, what's going to be the trigger if you haven't experienced this as of yet? Your uh, Divine Masculine is going to confess something. They're going to come clean about something. And, yeah. <laughs> it may take you back. You may feel deceived or betrayed or something here. Okay. 
but you're in control. The emperor comes out. And how I'm hearing it is like it's time to operate in duality. Whatever this is, though, it's going to literally push the divine masculine into emperor energy. It's going to help them to become more stable and more structured. It has to happen this way, is what I heard. Because it, yeah, the star card. It's too much. It's too much lack of faith and hope. Too much discouragement, insecurities. You know, divine feminine not trusting their higher wisdom. Okay, divine masculine the same. It's a lot of mirrored energy. This is not look. This is not the way it's supposed to be going right now, right? We've been on a journey for a very long time, but. I guess the Saturn retrograde is really, really, really affecting us more than what we know. Tell me about that. How is Saturn retrograde affect? Look, it's bringing the towers down. It's a lot of massive groundbreaking change that is happening right now. If it ain't happening now, it's going to happen very soon. Saturn is in retrograde until freaking November, if I'm not mistaken. This is large. Like, the change is going to be on a large scale, okay? It strikes fear. It makes us doubt. But this is real growth that is happening. It's making us step outside of our comfort zone. Wow. You're going to get the revelations that you need. Trust and believe. But that's why Spirit is saying, trust this process, trust the journey, trust the twists and turns right now, right? All of this is happening for a reason. It's a part of your personal transformation anyway. It gives you the insight, right? So seek truth. See through the veil of the illusions, right? Because the 3D, what we're seeing with our natural eyes, it's the illusion, Embrace clarity as revelations unfold and keep an open mind for answers because it's going to illuminate the path to understanding. So if you lift the veil of illusion and seek the truth beneath the surface to navigate through love and career authentically, lift the veil and see beneath the surface to navigate through this. Seek the truth in your situation because embrace as this revelation unfolds, you're going to have to keep an open mind. It's going to be hard. Because why is it's triggering or it's messing with what you fear the most, okay? And that's what you must master in this lifetime on your journey. It's a part of the awakening. Wow. Cavern of secrets. Look at that. Mm -mm. <laughs> a lot of stuff that's hidden. Divine Masculine isn't saying. And they're going to say it. It's going to come out. It's going to be revealed in some kind of way. If it's coming from their mouth or the universe going to show you something. And um, you're still just being asked to embrace. Embark on a journey of discovery and watch as the secrets unveil before you. This is what is... I can't even explain it. Let me pull. And I could talk to you guys about this because I need, yeah. I've been in this timeline, open to receive. I've been in this timeline and it's tough. I get it, I understand. But you have to kind of like keep flowing with the divine at this time and being open to receive. Like, And you gotta be open with open arms to receive this. Because it's all about your growth. It's all about your wisdom. Okay. Like I said, this is like, this is real growth that is happening here. Like you are evolving and ascending tremendously. Like the ascension that I'm seeing for you is, is, is crazy. So let go of any attachments to the outcome and let the universe bring you your gifts. And how you going to get that? You going to flow with the divine in this journey, y'all. Surrender to the divine. Surrender to the process. Trust, trust, trust. All right, y'all. I love you. Peace.